Hello, good day everyone. Uh, this is Richard again for another edition of Learning with Rich. So for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to use Dynamo with your Revit uh, project. Well, if you are new in Dynamo, Dynamo is a visual programming extension for Autodesk Revit that allows you to manipulate data, modify the geometry, uh, explore design options, you can also automate the processes and create links between multiple applications. So, so for this exercise, I'm going to teach you how to uh, change view names to uppercase or lowercase in your Revit project using Dynamo. So we're not going to do the conventional way of changing our view names manually like right clicking and then selecting rename one by one so we will be using dynamo to automate the process so if you want to download the dynamo you can go to the website of dynamo you can find it on this website okay you can go to dynamobeam.org so you can download the dynamo here and then you can install it to your computer. So the latest version of Dynamo is 9.0.9.2. Okay, so that is this that is the version of Dynamo that I am going to teach you. Alright, so let's get started. So I'm just going to close this one. Alright, so I'm going to uh, open the exercise for this one. So I'll just open this. So we will be uh, changing the view names here into a uppercase or you can also change that to lowercase so in this project I already created multiple levels so I have here 10 levels right and then I'm going to show you how to change the view names very quickly so instead of right clicking and then renaming then changing to uppercase or lowercase doing the conventional way so we will be using Dynamo to help us automate the process. All right. So let's get started. Okay. So after opening the file, after you install the Dynamo add-ins, so you can go to the add-ins here, and then you'll see here a uh, visual programming. So this is the one that we will be using. This is the Dynamo. All right. So I'm going to open the Dynamo. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to maximize it. And then on my Dynamo, I'm going to create a new Dynamo file. Okay, so this is the first step. You open the add-ins from Revit. And then after that, after you open the Dynamo, so we will be selecting here new. There you go. All right. And then we will be using nodes. So the nodes that we will be using here, Okay, so I'm just going to search element uh, types. Alright, so this is now the node that I'm going to use. So I'm going to click this. There you go. So this is the, the node that we'll be using. And if I'm going back to my uh, Revit, okay, so if I'm going back to my Revit, so I'll just uh, minimize my Dynamo just to explain some things here. So as you can see, if I click level one here, if I open that, you will see that on the identity data here, level one is actually a view name. Okay, so that will be the uh, name that we will be using. And these are view plan. Okay, so these are the views on our plan. Okay, for our project browser, this is the view plan. So that is the one that we will be using for our Dynamo. So where's my Dynamo? Okay, so for my element type, so I'm going to select here view plan. Okay, so I'm just going to select the view plan. There you go. Okay, so by the way, just below here, as you can see, the, the Dynamo will run the program automatically. So... I'm going to change this to manual, right? So I'm going to change that to manual. 
so that I can, I'm just going to run it manually. Okay, so after selecting the elements type, which is the uh, view plan, so I'm going to select again another node that we will be using for this. So I'm going to use all elements, oops, so just type all elements of type, okay? All elements of type, all elements of type, so just double click this. Or just click one time. I'll just delete this one. All right. Okay. Okay. So another uh, node that I'm going to use here is the node that they called element. So this node is commonly used node in Dynamo. It's very useful. Uh, the get parameter value by name. All right. This one. Okay. And aside from that, let's say for example, on a, the, the main reason why we are doing ex, uh, this exercise is that we want to automate changing the view names to uppercase or to lowercase. So let us make it uppercase first. Okay, so the node that we will be using for that is what you call, you can just type there string and then you can just space to upper all right so this is now the string so i select this just click so there's now the string okay so string to upper okay string to upper so it needs to have an input of string and then the output will be string okay it's that's how you read the node so you need to have an input and then this will be the output okay these are the inputs and then these are the out or this is the output okay so what else so we also need to have this element set parameter by name. Okay, so we'll be using this also. So again, we, we are going to supply here our uh, inputs okay, for the element, parameter name, and then the value. Now, after setting up our element types, which is the view plan. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this type here. Okay. Just click and then connect. Okay. And then after that, so as you can see, my element get parameter value by name here, it is asking for the input of element. So I'm going to connect that here. Okay. Now, what is the parameter name that we will be using for this one? So we need the parameter name. So like what I have said, we are going to change the view names to uppercase or to lowercase. Okay? So the parameter name that we will be using, okay, so I'm just going to minimize first. Okay, again, this is, this is now my Revit. So if I click this, you will notice the name of that is, the parameter for that is view name, right? Okay, so the level one and then the parameter name is view name. So I'm, this is the parameter that I'm going to use, okay? So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a code block, okay? To create a code block, you need to double click on the blank space, just double click, and then it will open the code block. So from here, you can type now the parameter that you will be using. So in our case, I'm going to type uh, open and close parentheses. So view name, and close parentheses. And then I'll just click outside to finish my code block. Okay, so this is now my code block. So this uh, view name, oh, I'm going to connect it here. Okay. And then after that, for my string here, okay, so for, so for my output, so I'm going to attach it here. Okay, and then as you can see, the element set uh, parameter by name, it's asking for element. That's why I'm going to click again the elements here, and then I'm going to connect here. Okay, so I'll just move this up just for you to be able to see clearly the connections, okay? 
Alright, so elements to elements. And then I need a parameter name. So I need a parameter name. So we need this. Okay, so I'm going to connect this here. Okay. And then the value. Okay, so what's the value? So I'm going to click this uppercase string. And then I'm going to connect it here. There you go. Okay. Okay, so here's the great part. So I'm now going to run the program. So I'm just going to minimize this for me to be able to see the rabbit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to run using this uh, nodes here. So I'll just click the run here. I click. And then you will see this um, dialog box. So would you like to rename corresponding levels and views? So I'm going to select here yes. And boom. Right? See? It's very fast. It's very efficient. So that is one way of automating your, your Revit project using the Dynamo. As you can see, automatically it becomes uh, uppercase. So if I go to the elevation view, as you can see, it's also changed here. Okay? Now, going back to my Dynamo, in case you want to make your, your view names here, lowercase so you can just open another node so instead of using string to upper so you can search another node here the name is string to lower okay so you can use that so you can just click this connect it here all right so you click this okay then you connect it here okay don't worry about this error. So our goal here is to uh, change the views to uppercase or lowercase. So don't worry about that error as long as we uh, we get the result that we want. All right. So after I connect here the string to lower, so I'm going to run again. So I click the run. Again, you will see this. Okay. So I'm just going to select yes. And boom. Okay, you see how great is the Dynamo plugin? Okay, so you can use Dynamo to automate your uh, Revit. Okay, so let me repeat. I'll try to make it uppercase. So I click this, place it there. Uh huh. I click this, click outside, and then I'll just click it there. And after that, I'm going to select run again. Yes. There you go. Okay. Okay, so this is now the nodes that you will be using in case you want to make that. Okay, so you have the element types, all elements of type, code block, element get parameter value by name, string to upper or string to lower, and then element set parameter by name. Okay, or if you want, after you create this uh, program this node you can save this so that if you have another uh, Revit uh, Revit uh, project wherein you need to change the view name quickly to upper or to lowercase you can just use this um, save file okay like for example I'm going to close I'm, uh, before I close I'm going to save this okay so let's say I'll save this as upper lower okay i save it okay and then i'll just close it so let's say for example i'll just close i'll just save this one and then i'll just close okay i'm going to create a new exercise here uh, using the architectural template okay so let's say you want to change these um, names also so same procedure you go to the add-ins look for dynamo Okay, and then this time you can just open. Open and then look for the file and then open. There you go. Okay, so I'll just maximize this. Okay, and then I'm going to run it. So click run. Okay, and then you will see this. So I select yes. Boom. So 
I minimize, you will see it's now changed. Okay? Alright, so just remember these nodes. So it will really help you a lot. So that's it for this uh, short exercise. Again, um, if you have learned something from this video, you can just give me your like or you can just subscribe to me. Uh, subscribe to, to my channel, Learning with Rich. So until then, take care.